Hey everybody, what's going on? Today we're going to talk about Taylor. He's a champ that you can get pretty early in the game, and as soon as you get him, you need to start leveling him up, getting resources into him. He is going to be a very intense carry, especially in your dungeon runs. So we're going to talk about how to get him, how to start gearing him in the early game, and then we're going to showcase him a little bit at the end of this video and show how, how to get the most out of him, because leaving him on full auto in your dungeon runs is uh, not always the best way to do it. So we'll, we'll show you a way that you can push a little bit further in these dungeons with him before you probably even should be able to, okay? It's it's kind of insane what a carry he is. So the way that you're gonna get him is by focusing on wasteland. You, you, you wanna do as much wasteland as you can every day. I think early on it lets you do two rounds of it and then eventually you start to get to do three, but you can get him in the first couple of days you're trying to accumulate this currency so you're going to get some currency just by doing wasteland and then for, from some of your progression rewards for doing wasteland you're going to get a little bit more of it when you get 2,000 of it i think it's just going to bring you into this shop but if it doesn't automatically when you have 2,000 of this come in here and buy this pack this pack has taylor in it as well as some other resources and stuff this should be one of your top priorities as a new player right get through the tutorial push your story missions, do those things. But as far as the first thing you're really trying to obtain from the game, it's this. You wanna get this as quickly as possible because Taylor is just an insane champ, okay? It's, it's kind of insane, truly, how strong he is. So if I get one more copy of him, he'll be my first immortal, actually, so. Let's talk about his skills real quick. And then again, we'll, we'll talk about how to, how to start gearing him earlier in the game. And then we'll go, we'll go show you, I'll show you how to use him in some different places to get the most out of him, okay? So, here he's got a passive. He gains 1% crit damage and reco recovers 3 energy each time he triggers a crit up to a max of 30%. So having crit rate on him straight out of the gate is going to be very important. The more he crits, the, the faster his damage is going to ramp up, okay? So, uh, definitely want some crit on him. That's, that's going to be important. His common shoots a fire spirit arrow at the nearest enemy. The arrow cannot penetrate enemies. Does 317% of attack damage to the enemy hit and inflicts a tiger flame on them for 8 seconds. Here he shoots 4 fire spirit arrows, each inflicting damage equal to 138% of his attack. The fire spirit arrows will prioritize enemies that had tiger flame on them. And then his ultimate is a uh, big part of his bread and butter to be honest. Enters a soul journey state, increasing his range by 50% and allowing him to quickly move to any place on the battlefield. He gains attack and crit rate for 9 seconds. He prioritizes targets affected by Tiger Flame. So basically what this skill is, is he's going to jump. He can, he's can. he got a big range. You'll see it when we, go, when we go showcase him. And he can jump anywhere in that circle. And then he does his thing. But the cool thing is that he can like move to big distances. And that, that's where we're going to utilize him really effectively so as far as equipment goes again the sets that you're going to want to focus as you start to unlock sets right everything from epic gear and above will have set bonuses the sets that you're going to want to focus on him as you as you start getting your hands on them are a hero and signet those are going to be great early game sets to focus now and some important things to talk about the top row will always be set main stat we're going to do a real brief gear tutorial okay the top row is always a set main stat so the weapons always attack the armor is always defense the the pants are always hp the bottom row is where you start to get some deviation okay so you're looking for crit stats on the glove you can either go crit rate or crit damage depending on how you, what you have at your disposal here it's not a bad idea to get attack percentage and honestly here it's not a bad idea to get attack percentage either i might give him those boots um, attack percentage is going to be the way to go. Again, use what you have. Use whatever you have that'll give him the best, give you the best outcome. I decided to go ahead and complete a set here because this had flat attack and this had attack percent. Figure it wouldn't kill him to have a little more defense, but that's not something you really want to focus. You just want to worry about his damage, okay? So the signet sets are going to be a, a big bump to you. They're going to be a big boost to your to your crit rate. And then uh, the hero sets are going to increase his attack. Those are really the only two you want to focus for now. It'll be a little bit before you, before you start really getting your hands on any of the four sets. And as far as the two-piece sets go, those are the two to focus, okay? So in the substats, again, it's going to be a little bit before you can really start to focus substats because you're not going to be getting a ton of gear very early. 
but in the substats as well, you're just looking for attack percentage and crit rate. Accuracy is probably not a bad thing to look for either if he needs it to land the Tiger Flame debuff. So if you can get a little accuracy in your substats as well, that's good. If you have an accuracy set that has some appropriate stats, you could throw that on him as well. I don't think I would go accuracy as a main stat down here though. I think I'd, I'm more concerned with his damage in general than, uh, than, than giving an accuracy set if I had other sets, you know what I mean? So hero and signet sets, top priority. Accuracy set is a secondary, I reckon. And then substats, attack percentage, crit rate, or probably crit rate first, attack percentage and then accuracy is probably not a terrible idea, okay? So that's just a, a real quick introduction to gearing, and we'll, we'll do a full-fledged gear guide soon, and we'll break down how to approach gearing everyone conceptually, but specifically for him, that's that's how you want to go ahead and approach it. And then, of course, just unlock his talents as you can afford to, okay? Now, let's jump in and, and see him in action. Terra Dome is a really good place. He's good in all three of these dungeons, okay? He fits in well to all three of these dungeons. He really shines in here. So, some stuff to understand. I just did a guide on this boss, um, but we'll, we'll, we'll go over it a little bit here because I think this is a great place to showcase him. Look at the difference in the power level of the team. Um, and you see we've cleared it. We are, we are about 100,000 power too low truly to be in this dungeon uh, based on the game, what the game thinks. But because of Taylor, uh, we can jump in here and do this kind of handily. So what we want to do, generally in the dungeons, especially if you're trying to progress beyond where the game thinks you are based on your power level, um, you want to turn him off of auto so that when you get his ult, you can put him in a certain spot. The big thing is being able to put him in a certain spot. So. We're gonna try this. It 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 could go wrong, of course. You know, he's got that that fan counterattack thing he does that could be devastating. But if we can get him out of position and get Taylor behind him or to the side of him where his damage is gonna be boosted, uh, we're just gonna melt him. So let's jump in here and give it a shot. So yeah, we are quite a bit lower than we're supposed to be, but Taylor's insane. So when the battle starts, you can click your auto screen and everyone else can be on auto here uh, except Taylor, right? Because this is this is really a melee dungeon and Taylor's ranged, but Taylor is a ranged champ that can get away with this because of the way his ult works. So I put him up front just so he'll be close enough so that my circle for range when I get his ult will be, I'll have more options. So when is, as soon as his ult fills up, what we're gonna do, we're gonna click and drag and you want to get him inside this big blue ring, okay? And you want to make sure you get him inside of it. It's very important. Otherwise, he's going to do no damage. And then you want to get him as far from being in front of the boss as possible. So right now, the boss is kind of angled a different direction. So we're going to put him down here in this corner, okay? And as far on the edge as we can get him so that he can kind of get side. And now watch Taylor's damage start to shoot up here. Just <laughs> ridiculous, right? See, now he's straight behind him, so he's just gonna get to melt him. If not for Taylor, if we didn't have Taylor, this would not be something we would be capable of doing. So Taylor's got his ult again. So we're gonna we're gonna come over here again. We just don't want to be in front of the boss. You get bonus damage in here if you can get behind this boss. So now he's doing his bomb thing. We have to run through and kill the bombs. Usually, Serena can keep Hercules alive in the, in the times I've done this in the past, but I think it still won't be a big deal. So then basically, we're going to save his ult now for when the boss comes back, and we're just going to try to get him back in position, and he should pretty much in in the fight when the boss comes back. We're going to wait on the ring. And now he's facing that way, so we're just gonna jump over here. And that should be a wrap. So, like, easily, and the damage output is just so far beyond what anyone else on my team is doing. 1.7 million compared to 680,000 from Artis, who's in second place. So, just an, an insane carry that will not work on auto. 
that's something to keep in mind. The good thing is that this is one of those games where you, you're going to farm this dungeon 100 times a day. Right, you can, if you've already cleared the stage, you can come in here and do it once and get credit for as many stamina refills as you have. Um, so that's how he works in Terra. and Disa, he's also very solid. And I think, again, we can probably see where we're still a little bit underpowered for this one. This one, you can just run full auto and it's fine. You just have to make sure you have other multi-hitters to, to supplement him. Um, because he doesn't multi-hit enough to take the, down the, the boss's shield, so you got to get more multi-hitters in here for him. But his damage output in general for the fight is going to be, uh, again, substantially higher than anyone else on the team. And he is further evolved than the rest of my champs for the most part. Artis is pretty much on his heels, um, but he would still be out damaging him just what because of the way his kit works. Uh, he, he would be out damaging him. So, so he's... He's... Almost mandatory, and it's it's really nice that the game allows you to g get him. You don't have to rely on RNG to at least get one copy of him, right? And then you know, with your exchange tickets from recruitments, as you as you build those up, he'll be in that shop sometimes. There's going to be other ways to get copies of him. Okay, so you want to start focusing Taylor <laughs> as soon as possible. He is such a carry. He's he's helping me through literally every part of the game. We're we're progressing well in story we're doing i'm using him in arena i use him in every one of my dungeon teams i use him in wasteland and so like there's i don't think there's anywhere in the game that i don't take him right now so um i mean look at the look at that and he stays so far back he's in no danger as long as the rest of the team couldn't stay alive and absorb hits he's, he's never in any danger he's just a killer killer champ all around well worth the resources. I could not emphasize that enough. Get your copy of Taylor. Get some crit rate sets on him. And uh, and and run wild with him, man. That's it. We'll, we'll wrap it up here. If you have any questions, you can drop them below. If you have any other tips about Taylor you want to drop below, maybe you're a little bit further in the game. You've got some more of the four sets. You can suggest some of the four-piece sets of gear that, uh, that you're liking on him if you're not running like Signet and Hero and stuff. Uh, you know, that's that's always dope, but uh, I think that's it. I think I feel like I've probably made made my case Three million damage in Disa Caves is <laughs> I think a pretty good Showcase for him and then and then the Terra Dome being able to get further in there than we really should be able to right now based on the rest of our team uh, just by Making sure we put him in the right spot in that dungeon uh, He's insane. He will he will carry your account Really far and you could take him all the way to immortal and never have to regret it. So that's it Hopefully I made the case. Build your tailor. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Later, guys.